Don't miss the Hub Original Series Majors and Minors, all new Fridays at 8 p.m., only on the Hub. 12 kids you're about to meet are just like you. They go to school, they play with their friends, and each one of them has a dream. Some are as young as 10 years old, and some had never auditioned for anything, while others had been at it for years. But regardless of age or experience, all their dreams are about to come true. Majors and minors will follow their journey as these 12 kids are mentored by the music industry's biggest talent. There are no eliminations. Nobody ever gets voted off. This is not that show. We've built the ultimate playground from a recording booth to a classroom, from a dance studio to our majors and minors main stage. And for the next 15 weeks, well, this is their home. With multi-platinum Grammy award-winning artist Brandy at their side, they'll be working with the industry's top music producers, vocal coaches, songwriters, choreographers, and a world-class band. How this show is gonna work is journey. The process of seeing these kids go from already being great to being greater learning how to write songs, learning how to sing original songs. They'll be joined each week by today's biggest stars, all working together to teach, inspire, and nurture the artists already inside each and every one of them. In the past six months, the top music executives in the business reviewed over 40,000 submissions from kids all across the country. 29 gifted performers were flown out to Los Angeles for the final auditions. The 12 remarkable young artists you're about to meet were selected, and their dreams are just a beat away. I'm Joby Hart, and this is their story. You join us here at day two of the callbacks on Majors and Minors, where we're about 20 minutes away from our first contestant walking up the red carpet. The final preparations are being done right now. The lights, the camera guys, everyone has a job. The last 12 hours, they've been practicing their dances, practicing their vocals, and getting their instruments in tune. Here's what's going to happen. Our first young hope of the day is going to walk up the red carpet and take the stage to perform for some of the top executives in the music industry. The judges will be evaluating their vocal talent, songwriting skills, and overall performances to determine by the end of the day who will make the cast of Majors and Minors. Outside right now, they're overwhelmed with excitement and anticipation as our journey to discover 12 young superstars begins. My name is Ashley Nicole Green. I am 10 years old, and I'm from Oceanside, California. LA. I knew at the age of three that our lives were not going to be normal lives. The music was in her body. What I like the most about performing is being able to show people how I sing. Auditioning for majors and minors, it would be probably the biggest thing that I've ever done in my life. And I'm really excited because I'm going to make new friends and I would have a year's worth of training in like almost like two months. I probably wouldn't be here like as close as I am to where I'm going to be without my mom's help. My mom is my singing coach, my life coach, my eating right coach. He's my everything coach. For you are mine. My name is Josh Metzler, I am 15 years old, and I'm from Gilbert, Arizona. I'm going to be singing one of my originals, it's called Let It Go. I'm feeling kinda dizzy, I need you here with me, I'm running out of breath. 
The clouds are spinning round me There's nothing right about me, darling There's a spinning in my head So buzz through the door And tell me I don't have to wait no more So let's just let this part of us go The part of us that's holding back, you know I cannot wait anymore It's basically saying, you know we're, we're all kind of lost sometimes. We all have our moments where you don't really know what we're doing. Let's just let it go, let's have fun. I've, I've already gotten so much just from being here the past two days. I've met the most incredible kids, the most talented people that I've ever met in my life. I would really look forward to that, just getting to know these people better and on more of a personal basis because I think we've really connected musically. He's done this all on his own. He taught himself how to play the guitar, taught himself how to play the piano. I started songwriting. I wanted to share my original music with the world. I thought, hey, maybe I'll upload a couple of videos to YouTube, see how that goes. He's gotten over 10,000 followers and close to a half a million video hits. He reaches people all over the globe. I do share a room with my older brother and he doesn't always appreciate the noise, so I end up recording my music in the bathroom. I like the bathroom for its acoustics. You get a lot of feedback. You get to hear what you're doing wrong. And let it go, oh, so good to just be free. My music is my everything. It's basically my escape. It's gotten me through some of the hardest times in my life. And that's obviously a big part of being a teenager is being able to let your feelings out somehow. And let it go. I'm Haley DiBiase, I'm 14 years old, and I'm from Huntington Beach, California. What if I squeeze myself into any shape and I still don't fit? What if I bend myself so much that I break and I can't mend it? What if I burn so bright that the fire goes out and I can't stay lit? What's the point in it? I could get good at crying, crocodile tears, just to get along. I could carry on telling you what you want to hear till my voice is gone. But if I finally get to the place that I think is home and I don't belong, what's the point in it? When I'm performing, I'm calm and like that's my place. I belong there. I would describe myself as kind of shy if you don't know me at first. She may come across as shy, but I don't think that she is completely shy. It's just she's more of a listener. What if I take everything I am on a dream? She started out doing the national anthem with all the minor league baseball teams. She is so humble that when she gets off the stage, she acts like she just didn't sing in front of 70,000 people. I don't know what it is. I can sing in front of people that I don't know, but when it comes to like my family, I get more shy. Don't wanna end up like pirate boats. What I thought was treasure, just a pile of stones. I might have the treasure, but it'd be lying alone. Just a pile of pirate boats. Around my friends, I don't usually talk about my music. Shia LaBeouf. <gasps> oh, oh yeah. When I'm having like a bad day, I just go to my room sometimes just to sing, because it always just makes me feel better. It's not worth having so much to hold. You can dig so deep that you left with a hole. Two fine to actually play the keys. Uh, you call me on stage right now on day two of the final auditions for Majors and Minors. Backstage, the kids continue to prepare for the opportunity of their lifetimes, knowing only 12 of them will make the final cast. So our journey now continues to find out who those 12 people will be. I really want to play the piano. I'm going to play one key. My name is Nia Holloway. I'm 15 years old. I'm from Norcross, Georgia. Listen. To the sound from deep within, it's only beginning to find release. Oh, I'm screaming out, my dreams will be heard. They will not be pushed aside or turned into your own, all oh, cause you won't listen. Me and my 
my sisters are extremely close. My mom and my dad are a huge support group, and they're always behind me in anything I want to do. Music is my passion. It is me. I feel like music is everything about me. I realized Nia had a really powerful voice when she was about five years old. She could belt out notes that should not be coming out of any five-year-old. So <laughs> Nia's loves are our family, music, and basketball. I'm a pretty tall girl, so it's something to keep me in shape. Nia is a wonderful athlete, and the team actually voted her to be their captain, so that says a lot about her. A decision between music and basketball, it's hands down music. I mean, if she's willing to put the work in, I know she'll achieve every goal that she sets out to achieve. My dream would be to make music that lives forever. Like Patti LaBelle, Stevie Wonder, Beyonce. Oh, no. Hi, I'm Sabrina Lentini. I am 13 years old and I'm from Tustin, California. Bob Dylan didn't have this to sing about. You know it feels good to be alive. I was alive and I waited, waited. I was alive and I waited for this. Right here, right now. There is no other place I'd rather be. For me, feeling the music in a song is the best thing you can do. I've been singing ever since I could talk. The minute I stepped on the stage, I knew that's what I wanted to do. I play my pop rock originals with my band, Sabrina and Minor Aftershock. We've been together for about two years now. We performed at the famous Whiskey A Go-Go. We were the youngest at the time to perform there. My mom, she's like the manager, booking everything. My dad, he's like a roadie, sort of. <laughs> you put a guitar in her hand and a, or a mic in her hand, and she becomes this phenomenal performer. I saw the decade in when it seemed the world could change in the blink of an eye. And if anything, there's your, your, your sign. I really got inspired to start writing two summers ago when my cousin Daisy, we were so close, she passed away. We were like sisters. It was so hard. Writing music really helped me escape the sadness. When she uh, lost her cousin, she uh, said, Daddy, I want to start playing guitar, and she just blossomed. My whole family is so supportive. Right here, right now, watching the world wake up, world wake up from history. My name is Austin Crute. I'm 15 years old and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. The song that I'm going to be performing today is Let Go, and it's an original song. I can't concentrate. Cause you're in my head And they wanted me to let you go But I think of you instead This feeling won't let go of me It's holding on, it's controlling me And I can't hold back, no I can't hold back no more I just wanted to tell you when the sea is dry When the sun is cold When birds don't fly when there's a desert snow, that's when I let you go, let you go, let you go. The song is about not being able to let go of a girl because she has your heart in her hands. I have emotionally been through a lot in this journey. The influences in my life are my mother, my father. Hey, big boy. <laughs> Pretty much all my family members are very supportive. And they love hearing me sing. They love seeing me dance. I am extremely proud of my brother. I'm not jealous at all. <laughs> I promise. Austin developed late in his audible skills. So he would express himself differently through music. He has this 
uncanny ability to hear it and sing it back the first time perfectly. At age nine, he began to teach himself production on our um, computer. He stayed in his room creating all this fantastic music. This is my bedroom that also doubles as my studio. I sing it, I'll write it, <laughs> and then I'll produce it. Austin taught himself everything and feels like he hit a ceiling. He wants to grow beyond what he can teach himself. I want to show people what I can bring to the table. There was so much love and support. Everybody's saying, hey, Austin, your dreams are gonna come true. And so I'm hoping that I can make them proud as well as make myself proud. Let you go, let you go, let you go, let you go. That's when I let you go, let you go, let you go, let you go. We've just given you a glimpse into our extraordinary cast. And before we meet the next six, let me introduce you to our experts who will be mentoring our cast over the next 15 weeks. The amount of work that these children are going to be doing, I don't think I've done <laughs> in a week when I first started. This show is not only about process and showing other people the process, but it's really about um, having the opportunity to give back. What's special about teaching kids this age is watching their excitement as they grow. To watch elation be so visible is extraordinary to me. What I look for, in, especially in the auditions in these 12 kids, that it factor, that, that light inside of them, whether they see it or not, I can see it and I can feel it. I see them becoming superstars. They're so talented to begin with, by the end of the process of the show, they're gonna be that much more talented and, and focused and, and they're gonna understand a lot more about the industry. And now back to the auditions to meet the last six of the cast of Majors and Minors. My name is Kennedy Noel, I'm 13 years old and I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And I'll be doing an original song called You Have Me. You think that the best is over and everything you do you suffer. You're giving up on the fight, keep holding on for dear life. One too many times you've fallen, you're reaching out for help, you're calling to anyone for anything. Is anybody listening whenever your heart gets broken, whenever your dreams are stolen? I've been writing songs since I was 10. Music is basically my life. And I've just grown up around that because my dad is a musician as well. I'm a keyboard player, music director, songwriter. She's been around music since she could breathe. Kennedy actually didn't start talking until she was three, and she sang before she talked. Hasn't stopped ever since. My parents, they're huge influences on my life. <laughs> my mom taught me how to do harmonies, and then my dad was the one who introduced me to doing piano. Kennedy had never played piano. I mean, literally, we'd never, she'd never had a lesson. Everything she touches, she, she's like a, she's a musical sponge. We're behind her 110%, but at first it was really scary. You have me to help you through whatever the world throws at you. Whenever you fall, I'll catch you. You have me. They're the ones who are saying, we want you to be normal. There's something about music in me that clicks. Oh, you have me. Hi, my name is Michael J. Woodard. I am 13 years old. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I'm going to be singing an original song called Joy. Sometimes in life, you need someone to count on, and you turn to everyone looking for a backbone. You think of words to say, thanking them for their goodness and all they have done for you. You give me joy, unspeakable joy. You give me hope like I never had before. I write songs, it all depends on what I'm going through and then I put it into my song. 
the teachers ask me, what are your dreams? What do you want to pursue? All I write down is singing, acting, entertainment, because that's really what I want to do. Michael's been singing since he's five years old at the church. Michael, I knew, was born to be a star. Sometimes I look at him in church and he's singing. He's not even himself anymore. I love how he just goes to another place. He sung the national anthem. He does uh, concerts all over the tri-state area. Um, oh, yeah, the and, Apollo. And, and the Apollo, Apollo. Apollo. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had some good doors open, but the struggle is your finances, you know? <laughs> you gotta balance things out. Well, me and my mom were having such a hard time figuring out, am I going down the right path? But then Mike told me, Mom, we out here now, so we gotta keep going. I said, you know what, you are right. The support my mom gives to me, I mean, she never gives up on me, is what compels me to keep going. When you meet the one you love. Some people look at kids my age and say, oh, he's not really passionate about this, but I really am. No matter where I'm at, I can be in the worst place in the world, but when I sing, it brings me to a calm, mellow place where I can just relax and be myself. You give me a joy, joy, like I never had before, I never had before. Grace, Grace is a pleasure to meet. I love the amazing hair. You know, it's kind of the hair that I want to have, the hair that I never had. What is one of your favorite contemporary songs right now? Price Tag by Jesse J. Oh, it's a great one, isn't it? Sing me a bit of that one. <laughs> it's not about the money, money, money. We don't want your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Ain't about the uh, cha ching, cha ching. Ain't about the yeah, but bling, but bling. We want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. Yeah, Grace. <laughs> Hi, I'm Grace Jeanette. I'm 10 years old. I'm from Burbank, California, and I'll be singing an original called Wasting All My Time. You, 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 you've been wasting all my time, wasting all my time today. You, 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 you've been wasting all my time, and you got nothing to say. I let you occupy my mind. I saw you there all the time. I handed over my heart. Waiting for something to start And you, 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 you been wasting all my time Wasting all my time today The song called Wasting All My Time I wrote when I was washing the dishes The lyrics just kind of came to me Maybe it's just because I don't like washing dishes I was born in Sacramento, California And besides playing my music I spend a lot of time with my friends And when I'm hanging out with my family, a lot of times we're just talking about, you know, silly stuff, or sometimes we talk politics. <laughs> I'm taking back my time. My mom is like the main inspiration because she's also a singer. She just ran around the house dancing, singing, acting like from the time she was two. When my mom couldn't get a babysitter, she would take us with her to her open mics because she loved to do music and she liked playing live. She would sing her originals and my brother would come up with saxophone stuff and the more I saw her do it, the more I wanted to do what she was doing. I actually told my mom, I was like, Mom, I need an agent. And I said, Grace, <laughs> if this is what you really want, we have to move. Sometimes we'll go to a park and we'll jam out. Wasting all my time today. You're gonna do it. for the duration of the show, so if you're like not picking it up, just ask. Yeah, cool? cool. I won't bite? Cool. <laughs> Good. If you could sing with anyone on stage, just you and whoever, strumming it out, having a good time, who would it be? Who would it be? Um, of course, Jason Mraz, Bruno yeah. Mars, and Mars, um, I, I love alternative music, so, you know, Jimmy Eat World, Mumford & Sons, I love those new, new bands. 
Music is uh, like meditating. Strum a few chords, it's all it takes to just kind of go to a different place. I just love to do it. My name is Cameron Defaria. I am 13 years old and I live in Culver City, California. I'm gonna be singing a song that I wrote with my band called Little Tin God. The Little Tin God will put you down in his little tin god town. It happened in the place where the sycamore trees driving on the road just as we please. The little tin god coming around to lay down the law in his tin god town he pulled to the curb his front his back coming up aside with his ranger hat little tin god do you think that you're funny because you made a little of your tin god money it's about you know kind of an angst kind of song it's just that edgy vibe little tin god is a phrase that our folks use for one whose power has gone to his head he is so serious and he's so focused and he's so into it. I like really any kind of music, but mainly my genre is that indie kind of rock. My life is pretty average. I go to school, come home, do homework. I play flag football, play baseball. What any kid would do, really. Stereo Union is my band, and we've been together for about four years. The band really inspired by Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, Cream. Rolling, action. I actually love to film movies with my friends. I just find it really a good time. The little tin god will put you Everybody deserves a mentor. No matter what, where you are in life, even if it's a personal mentor or anything, I just feel like everybody deserves this kind of person to, to take their hand and bounce ideas off of and lean on and show them the way and, and, and impart their knowledge on it. To me, it's more than just doing a television show. It's more than just like, hey, let's bring out a bunch of stars to mentor kids. For me, it's, it's very personal. My name is Emily Cocontes. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Newbury Park, California, and I'm gonna be singing the song I wrote called Mother's Rose Garden. Boy meets girl, they fall in love, they get married And they move into a house, handed down by family And she smiles as she looks out of the window There's a little rose garden filled with buds that just won't grow and She lets out a sigh, she steps out in the yard each bud on the stems refused to let down their guard. Mother's a rose garden. Mother's Rose Garden is about my aunt and uncle's divorce. And the song's basically about this rose bush that my aunt put in her backyard and the roses never bloomed until my uncle left. I was so taken by that story that I, I wrote a song about it. I'm kind of a reserved and more quiet teenager. <laughs> All of her friends know that she's just a very well-rounded person. She's just kind, smart, hardworking. I'm not like the typical nerd, but when it comes to school, I really want to be like the best I can be. When I get stressed from studying, I'll just go downstairs and play piano. It's kind of therapeutic. Emily always kind of wanted to be in the limelight and to entertain and sing. I realized that she just had a natural ability for playing piano, but I think it was not until she started writing songs that she really blossomed. I feel very vulnerable when I play my music. My teacher, Anna, she helps me so much with the storytelling aspect. She came in with a journal, just some things that she'd been thinking about. She knows what she's doing instinctively. You don't have to teach her. You just have to guide her. I just want to be able to share my music with people and get my messages out there and just have fun. And so, yeah. So don't turn around right away. Wait until you step and A, B, C, and swipe, and swipe, left, right, left, boom, tick, tick. Easy as one, two, three. 
top. It's a daily challenge to keep their focus, really. I know that when I get them, they're getting vocals, they're getting right out of learning an instrument, or they're getting right out of just learning an entire medley. And now I have to teach them steps for, for this certain song and staging and choreography and you know placement and all that stuff. And it's a lot, it's a lot for me, it's, it's, it's even more for them. When you woke up this morning, when you first opened your eyes, what thought went through your head? Let's do this thing. Let's do it. Yeah. That kind of I, I told attitude. that to him. Uh, he's, he woke me up and I'm like, today's the day. I'm Brandon Michael. I'm 11 years old and I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm going to play an original song called She Loved Me. She was right there looking at me when I noticed she had loved me deeply. She loved me. So I jumped up, not even caring what she was thinking, because I knew she loved me. She loved me. Brandon is an amazing handful. <laughs> Definitely borderline heart attack as a parent. <laughs> Pretty much when I was little, I'd be in nothing but my underwear, and I'd be singing. I, I love to perform. When I wake up in the morning, I have you in my mind. When I first met Brandon, he was attempting to do a few little hip hop moves. I showed him a few break dance moves. The next time I saw him, he had the moves down that I had showed him and wanted to learn more. Good, again, five, six, ready, go. One and two, three. My dad, he's been going through chemo. He's been through chemo before and it made him very sick. He told me, go pursue my dreams and I really can't believe he'd do that for me. I believe Brandon has the capability of going all the way. Once he gets into something, he gives it everything that he has. I want him to do what he's meant to do and to love it and never look back. I'm excited that I get to make people smile. I'm even smiling, I'm making myself smile. She loved me. Thank you. So how do you think your audition went? My performance went very well. Um, I didn't miss any notes. I felt all the energy building up inside me. It was just, it was so overwhelming. I've never really auditioned for anything before, so this is kind of like all new to me, and it's just kind of scary and exciting. It's an incredible experience, and I had a lot of fun on stage. Being up there was just so much fun, and I had a great time. I gave it what I, um, what I had, and I just did what I can do. It's like the rush that everybody likes to have. I could really see the judges smiling, and I knew that I was doing my best. I could really feel it. I just feel relieved. I felt like the notes came out right. I was excited. I was pumped. I was energetic, and I felt really confident about it. Here it is. I'm going to do it, and there's no stopping me. I'm just going to go for it and hope for the best. Majors and minors mean so much to me because this is my opportunity to let people know what I can do. Hi, Ashley. This is Leanna Lewis. Hey, Josh. This is Adam Lambert. Hey, Nia. It's me, Jordan Sparks. Hey, Cameron. It's your boy, Sean Kingston. Grace, it's Brandy. It's my great pleasure to tell you, Michael. Hey, Kennedy. I'm Ryan Tedder. He said your name. I think it's really cool that I'm the one that gets to tell you. You have just been cast on Majors and Minors. You've made it. You are a part of the cast. We Congratulations. You're about to be a star. How does it feel? Not a lot of people get to work with, you know, people that have been there before them. And I think they're gonna see themselves. And a lot of these artists that come and, and mentor them, they're gonna see themselves 
and that's going to inspire them even more. And that's what, that's what you want. That's what I want for them. I want them to see themselves in me and to be inspired because when I look at them, I definitely see myself and I definitely feel inspired. Josh has that timid vibe to him. I can see him singing a lot of ballads and every time he sings, he closes his eyes. So he's definitely connected. I think Kennedy Noel is very shy, yet she knows exactly who she is as an artist. But when I take a second, it's right in front of me. Michael, he's just incredible. I can do anything. Every time I hear him sing, I just get chills and I want to hear more. I think Emily can be one of the greatest songwriters ever. Her mentality is, is way beyond her years. Mia reminds me of me. She's so passionate and she's so ready. She's a star. She has the it factor. Nobody can stop me from breaking every bad. Sabrina is mysterious, but it's something about the way she expresses herself that makes me want to just watch. The past won't matter. The future's what I'm after. It's time that I believe and take Cameron, he's a rock star. He has this look about it, and I like it that he plays guitar, and I like it that he has that band experience. I can definitely see like a band behind him. I can be stronger than a lion. I can be everything I dream. I can be anything. Grace knows she has something different and special. She has her own thing. She has her own expression. For her to be so young, how does she get that tone? I can be anything, anything that I want to be, want to be. I can be anything, anything. Ashley Nicole Green is a superstar. Her voice is big. It's bigger than her age. It's bigger than who she is. Little step I take. And all I need is to trust myself and have a little faith. Austin is so versatile. He can dance, he can sing, and he can do them both at the same time. I can be taller than a mountain. I can be the Haley's voice, it's like R&B. Her voice is magical. Magical. I can be anything. I can do anything. I can be everything. Oh. Brandon reminds me of Justin Bieber. He has like such a personality to go with everything he already is as an artist. I can be taller than a mountain. I can be a hero that I need. I can be stronger than a lion. I can be everything I dream. Congratulations, Josh. Thank you do great on the show. All right, we're proud of you. Thank you. Hey, Michael. Congratulations, Hi, man. Thank All you. right, man. I am so, so, so excited to be here. I love LA. I mean, this is a huge opportunity, and it's just, it's going to be so much fun. <gasps> no! Mia, sorry. <laughs> I keep forgetting your name. Oh my gosh, I love palm trees. Who, who doesn't like palm trees? Hey! What's up? Oh, good. My heart is just racing. racing. That's our home. <laughs> right? The next That's week. our home. Yeah, it's our home for a while. For the next six weeks. It's like, we're at home. Oh, we are here. You too. Congrats. <laughs> in my hotel in Los Angeles. 
these video diaries to let you all know what we've been up to. Today has been so amazing. Josh Metzler, I saw him, I was like, yay! And Sabrina, it was so cool to see that Sabrina had made it because I've known Sabrina since I was like five years old. I'm so excited to see what this process has to bring. Hey guys, how you doing? We make custom ear molds for monitors so you guys can hear yourself sing in your ears. This is weird. Uh, whoa. Oh, I never thought I'd love to hear so much. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Ow! Huh? You're not even talking. You be quiet. I'm super excited to see the set tomorrow. Tomorrow's the big day where we get to go and see the set. I'm really excited for everything. This morning, I was so excited. It's going to be fun. Can't wait. <sighs> Personally, I'm excited for, like, hair and makeup. Everybody else is nervous just like I am. This whole situation is so surreal. I cannot wait. I just can't wait to meet all the mentors and work on our songs, and I'm really excited, and I know that it's going to be an incredible process, so I can't wait. Peace. We made these special eye covers for each one of you. Everybody pass them around. It's taken us two months to build what you're about to see inside these soundstage doors, and we want it to be a surprise. Red lights on, guys. That means we're rolling. This season on Majors and Minors. So sorry for you guys. This is now yours. Five, six, four, change. I spoke to you guys about getting together and starting to write your first song. That starts today. Time to meet our special guest. You know, I started when I was your age, and so to see you guys is like I'm looking in a mirror. I hear you've been working very, very hard. Miss Leona Lewis. So impressed by all of you. You're amazing. You. Really amazing. An audience knows. An audience is smart. They understand what's real and what's not real. You guys, when you get told no, you should just take it as fuel to make you work harder. Hi. I told a couple of you that I have stage fright, and I don't know if any of you do, but don't worry about what anybody's thinking, and have fun with it. The hardest part is to maintain that success. Like, you know what I'm saying? One hit doesn't make you a star. If you can write a chorus, and it sounds super catchy and super good with nothing, then it'll sound even better when you add all the music. To download music and bonus material, go to mymajorsandminors.com slash TV. Don't miss the Hub Original Series Majors and Minors, all new Fridays at 8 p.m., only on The Hub.